So guys, it's Declan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new leaked image of one of the new High Life DLC cars, and that car is the Enos Huntley. Now the Enos Huntley wasn't really talked about on the Rockstar Newswire, and there wasn't any images of this vehicle neither, so it was kind of a mystery to of why Rockstar kind of left this vehicle out. Now today we do have a leaked image, and I'm also going to be talking to you guys as well about a possible release date for the High Life DLC. I believe it is coming very, very soon, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I believe believe this is coming soon. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes, that'd be awesome. And with that said, let's begin. So starting this off, the Enos Huntley is a new DLC vehicle that Rockstar haven't really mentioned yet. And uh, basically, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, there was actually some leaked files about the Pegasi Zentorno, the Debachi Masacro, and the Enos Huntley. And then of course, around a week later, Rockstar did confirm these vehicles to actually be in the game. Now once again they haven't really talked about the Enos Huntley nor did they show any images and I'm going to be showing you guys the Rockstar Newswire right now. So in this particular part of the Newswire they talked about the High Life DLC update and the main keywords within this were three new lavish cars to choose from. Now they only mentioned one of these cars which is the Pegasi Zentorno and that's really weird Rockstar only actually mentioned one vehicle in text on the whole of the Newswire which was the Pegasi Zentorno and then later down this Newswire they showed an image as you can see on screen right now of the Pegasi Zentorno which is the one on the right and the Debarchi Masacro which is the one on the left. Now they didn't even mention the Masacro in text nor did they mention the Enos Huntley as well and they didn't show any images of the Huntley neither. So it was really weird to have why Rockstar didn't actually mention both of these vehicles in text on the newswire and everybody then was led to believe that the Enos Huntley was the blacker vehicle in the background right behind the Masacro. Now I do believe that to be false, I believe that is a vehicle that is already in the game, I'm not entirely sure what the name is, but we do have a leaked image of the actual Huntley. And once again the image is on screen, as you can see the Huntley is the big green vehicle in the background in the top left. I think it looks really awesome, there isn't really too much to go by here. I believe this was actually a garage shot that was supposed to be in the newswire but didn't actually end up making it, I'm not entirely sure if that is correct. But um, I don't really know how else this vehicle or this image would have been found. And also, as you can see, the Zentorno is actually parked in the top right corner. Nevertheless, that is the image of the Huntley. I really believe it looks really nice. I mean, it's one of the better SUVs that are now in the game. And for anybody who doesn't know by now, the Huntley is basically a four-door luxury SUV that was in San Andreas. As you can see, this is the image for the San Andreas version. And there was also the Huntley Sport, which was in Grand Theft Auto IV. So I do like the idea of them bringing back different vehicles from previous GTA games back into the game. And I think this is just the start for it. I mean, I really like the look of this vehicle once again. I think it looks really nice. I'm definitely going to be buying this vehicle when the High Life DLC does drop. Nevertheless, that was the image for the Huntley, and that was pretty much all I'm going to talk about the Huntley. And now I want to talk about the possible release date for the High Life DLC. So there's this huge speculation going around at the moment to of when the High Life DLC is going to be released. And a subscriber of mine who goes by the name of Jedge Mastero actually came to me with this great theory. Now I'm not entirely sure if this theory is his or he originally thought this up, but the theory is basically about the code term 420. And for anybody who doesn't know what the code term 420 is, it's basically short for April the 20th. And on April the 20th, it's basically a day or a celebratory day where a lot of people gather and get high. Basically, they consume cannabis. And I'm not entirely sure if this is just an American thing. I actually never heard of 420 before today. And uh, basically, yeah, it's pretty much become a counterculture holiday in North America where people gather, celebrate, and consume cannabis. So basically, on April the 20th, a lot of people gather and get high. Now on top of that you have the High Life DLC, so as you can see there's already a connection there. 420, April the 20th, everybody gets high, not everybody sorry, but a lot of people get high. And obviously you have the High Life DLC. Now obviously you can see the connection now already, and on top of that we have Easter weekend. So April the 20th is on Easter weekend, I think April the 20th is on a Sunday, and that is part of the Easter weekend. So not only do we have Easter weekend, a date or a weekend where we should get DLC, where a lot of people would think we're going to get DLC, we also have the little connection of the date a lot of people get high on, April the 20th, and also the name of the DLC itself, the High Life DLC. So hopefully you guys can understand the connection kind of appearing here. But um, I'm not entirely sure if you guys could kind of understand this, but once again, I will have a link in the description to all this information. Nevertheless, that is pretty much it for the commentary. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think this theory is going to happen? What do you guys think of 420? Do you think it's got any connection whatsoever? Tell me in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check it out. 
With that said, I'm going to leave it there. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes, guys? That would be awesome. And if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. We are always trying to talk to you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we are going to post next. Anyway, with that said, I will see you all in the next video.